Hi and welcome to how to use CAD. Today's tutorial is still based on detailed sections. So we are going to create a section for a gallows bracket, which is used to support a chimney stack when the chimney breast has been removed. This work is structural and most cases will be specified by an engineer. But it is likely that if a gallows bracket is accepted by the local building control, then a detailed section for the work will be just fine. An excellent learning curve for all those pursuing a career within the architectural services sector. Okay, let's get down to it. So for those of you that are not familiar with a gallows bracket, I brought a few photos in this time into the uh, tutorial. So that's a chimney, a uh, chimney stack and the breast has been removed. Um, so what we have here now is we have uh, three gallow brackets and uh, 10 mil of metal, 10 mil sheet metal going across the top uh, to spread the weight. And normally you'll put that in and then you'll drive slate into the, into the cracks and get a little bit of concrete in. So uh, pretty rugged and pretty simple. This one now, as you can see, there's three bolts in each bracket. Um, and it's, you know, there's lots of, there's gallow brackets, but there's little variants on them now. That, that, that is not my perfect, that is not what, I wouldn't consider that to be the ideal one from my point of view, but of course it does the job. Uh, let's have a look at another one. So here now, picture isn't great, sorry about that. Uh, picture isn't great when I bring it up, but again, you see, you can see, uh, yeah, again, not a great quality image, uh, but you can you got the idea. Three brackets, a bit of steel along the top, holding them together. This is uh, slightly, I told you, uh, these things, you get variations depending on where you get them. And then they have two uh, concrete lintels across the top. Looks pretty secure, looks more secure than this one. I like the lintels rather than the sheet metal, but Again, if building control are happy with it, that's what it's all about. Now, this particular one, uh, this one I like best because uh, you, you, the, the steel here, instead of being a strip, it's, it's an L bracket. You can see here, that's just a little strip. Whereas the L bracket will always be uh, stronger. So you've got an L bracket, you've got the bolts, and you've got lintels above, and the chimney breast doesn't look huge. So that's a very, very secure use of the gallows bracket, and that's what it's intended for. This one is still okay, and that's what it was intended for. But this one, if we look at the width here of the chimney breast, or the chimney stack, that's more than a meter, and in most cases, uh, building control or the building code, they won't accept a gallows bracket on a chimney stack that's more than a, wee, a meter, meter wide. Uh, that's generally how it works. But uh, so, uh, it's it's a golden rule. So don't don't bother uh, doing it, doing the section or providing a section if the chimney is more than a meter wide, because building control just won't accept it. Um, right, so as you can see now, let me get rid of those photos, you've got the idea. Um, so now what we can do is have a little look here. I uh, did a few detailed sketches, I've added some components, some brickwork, got a lintel underneath, concrete lintel, and then you've got your uh, uh, facing profile of uh, two gallows brackets. And this would be the end elevation, so you've got your uh, brickwork that's where the chimney was from say from there to there that's the main wall so the chimney rest is usually attached to the boundary wall or uh, a partition not a partition wall uh, a party wall uh, and again in most houses in the UK all it is is a couple of bricks wide and then the chimney breast is about two and a half with a, a flue in the middle uh, to take the smoke from the chimneys or the fireplaces. So here we have gallows bracket. Now what I like about the, this design is that the gallows bracket, actually the end of the gallows bracket sits into the brickwork. So you make a little hole, sit it in, and then it gets bolted in here, gets a couple of bolts, 
put in and in this case uh, we have three lintels three small concrete lintels going across they're usually reinforced with a bit of steel in the middle and that's a perfectly good installation providing the width of the chimney breast isn't more than one meter so now design wise we don't have much design work to do on this but what we have here is i've written in various bits and pieces which have to be uh, numbered and um, used to describe the various elements within the drawing. So that's what we're going to do and we're going to keep it as short as possible uh, so that you're getting value and uh, without putting too much effort and too much time into it. Rather than straight up. Uh, right, chimney to be no more than two stories high plus roof space. That's okay. Uh, for we can use a little demo on that so that I can do um, mortar packing I can do that one as well let's just put it again um, open angle strutting at 45 yeah I think we're gonna do these little ones on this side angle strutting at 45 get rid of this now uh, let me get a little black ball going I'm gonna pinch one from over here circle make a copy right um, This one up here. Water packing. Uh, let's. I think we need to do something to represent the bolts. So if I take. the bolts need to be black I think so um, pen black bolts I need a little top on it and that'll be about 20 oops wrong again uh, 14 and this one will be 20 So here you go, one black bolt, 450 between bolts. So if we get one in there, get one in down here. I thought as much, I didn't um, pick up the actual head of the bolt. Get the head going. Sometimes you copy and paste, but you can't find where it's ended up. Uh, that, it can be, oh, you know, the other end of the worksheet. Right, 45 between bolts. So uh, let's get another little circle in. I 
this is my on set. The, uh, so it's important obviously to get it accurate uh, as in the information accurate so right now all we're doing is uh, you know uh, cosmetic stuff but at the end of the day it is uh, it is needed so uh, between the bowls so yeah does that demonstrate that maybe not go with a line from here to each bolt. strutting at 45 degrees and mortar packing there we go right um, 12 diameter bolts yeah, I could do that one as well from the top fine I'm too lazy to turn off snaps there actually let's turn off snaps so that my job becomes easier oops two stories right, leave that and then this is information only so it doesn't need a direction arrow so what I want to do now is uh, these are all multi-text so I want to do zero one and out multi-text zero two and out multi-text zero three out multi-text Zero four and out zero five and out. Right, that's the multi text done. And now I'm going to do I think these are just regular text. Zero six was it? Am I right? Yeah. Zero seven. 
This will be really confusing <laughs> for whoever gets to. <laughs> um, zero. text what do you think yes it is zero nine fact is I can bring it around isn't it there we go and then I just tidy it up okay we're nearly there okay I'm happy with that we've got our brick uh, party wall brick chimney uh, representation front on and bring this down just a touch okay uh, so this is another detail section that will be available in our detail section.co.uk in our online store so uh, we've got about a thousand detail sections to do and uh, as we get through them they'll be added to our uh, catalog within the, our online shop uh, so anyone wanting to buy uh, these in in uh, CAD form or in uh, PDF all you got to do is pop down the shop but that's really useful sometimes rather than having to recreate your own but to actually uh, just buy one because you can use it again and again uh, for your drawings uh, okay this is a shortish lesson uh, but hopefully you've learned some essential information here especially to do with gallows brackets for ch and chimney breasts so um, hopefully as I say hopefully it was value uh, thank you very much for joining me uh, hit the uh, comments button if you've got a question or you want to say something otherwise I would suggest you subscribe so you get notifications uh, for more detailed sections which uh, we'll certainly be doing quite a lot of them and uploading to YouTube over the coming months. Thanks again, see you on the next lesson.